Good morning. I'm Bruce Stevenson. I'm the guy on the left down there, and the person on the lower right is Linda Piccinini, who is my partner in today's dental consulting. And we're going to show you another open dental hack. So let me make a real quick little video here on how to use charting in open dental. So we're going to assume we already completed the treatment. There's actually four different ways that you can chart in open dental. Uh, I'm going to show you two of them, but uh, and the other ones because I think are not quite so important. So first thing we want to do is make sure we've got some completed procedures. Now one way to chart is to do what's called a group note. And so I can highlight all three of those, right mouse click, and go to group note right there. The problem is I've got two different providers. So it's not going to let me do that. It's going to give me an error message, just like that. Okay. Now I can chart on a single procedure, or I can chart using a group note. So there's a single procedure. It brings this up. The first way that you can chart is just to put in whatever you want to write. Sometimes you want to do that uh, for a unique situation. But most of the time, it's going to be faster to use the auto note feature, which I'm going to show you next. So let's just leave that charting in there. You can see it's in there. So now I'm going to go down and do a group note. That was just for that single procedure. Now I'm going to do a group note here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to show you how to auto note works first, and I'll show you how to set it up. So I can go ahead and type just like I did before in there, but I can also use this auto note feature, which is really very slick. I click on that. And I have four auto notes set up in here. Now, yours are going to be a little bit different than mine, but let's use the one for the crown. I'm going to double click on this. It prompts me. Uh, and this box drops down here so I can put in the tooth number. So in this case, I'm going to say we're going to do tooth number four and say OK. It prompts me for where the carries is. Now, this is all user customizable, but it's meant to be used as a little checklist. So the chair side or the hygienist or whoever is doing this charting for the doctor collaborates with the doctor and says, Doctor, where's the caries? And you say, well, it was mesial caries on that tooth. And say, oh, maybe it was mesial and occlusal caries. So you can select more than one. Or you could skip it. Right. Now it wants to know, why did we do this crown? And this is pretty important if you need documentation uh, for just in the future reference, but also particularly for an insurance company. So I'm going to click on this thing. Looks like I've got lots of stuff down here, and I do. I'm going to click on that first one and say OK. And if you go back up here, it says initially con an existing condition, initial placement, large restoration with extensive recurrent carries in, in adequate amount of tooth structure remaining to provide sufficient longevity for anything other than full cuspal coverage with laboratory processed restoration. That will fly for documentation with any insurance company. And that's the truth. If it's the initial placement, that's probably why you did the crown. Okay, moving on. Here's the anesthetic. I can put any kind of anesthetic I want in here. Again, all user customizable, whatever you want to do. Uh, the last thing is the shade. What shade was that, doctor? Well, that was A3. Okay, and basically now our charting is all done. We can add something to this if we want to, uh, but we don't have to. And I say OK. And I can come back here and I can sign it if I want to, but again, I don't have to. Okay, and there's our charting tied to these two procedures. If I want to come back, and it says a group note over there, if I want to come back at a later time and change it, say, oh, there's my signature in there, but I want to take this out, signature disappears. So you make any change, the signature disappear. So we'll put a new signature in there. Okay, so I have just a few of those auto notes set up because all I do is Invisalign. But that's just an example. Let's show you now how you actually set those up. I was in the chart before doing my charting and I had to pick a completed procedure. But the setup is over here under setup and then go down here to auto notes. Okay, there's auto codes. That's not what you want. You want auto notes down here. And here is a list of my setup auto notes that are in there already. Let's just show you the Invisalign one. So you can add more down here. You can add as many as you want. Don't get too carried away, though. So let's look at this one. Double click on it. Here's what I set up over here. 
and here are my prompts. And I can insert any of these prompts over here so it will prompt me for those things when we're doing the charting. So think about this for a minute. Don't Again, don't get carried away doing too many auto notes and not too many prompts. You're going to be able to reuse these prompts. So for instance, the teeth, uh, you're going to use a lot for a lot of different charting. If you use the same kind of composite each time, the same brand, then I wouldn't bother to put a prompt in here. And you can always come back and change all this stuff later. I wouldn't bother to put a prompt in there. Uh, you always use that composite, then put it over here as part of your notes. Those are your routine notes. But it's going to prompt you for the shade. So think about these prompts uh, as you're putting them in there. And as I say, don't get carried away. Make this a checklist. How much anesthetic did you use? That's going to vary. So you might want to have one of those over here. Uh, what kind of anesthetic did you use? So, so let's look at anesthetic here. If I double click on this, here are my possibilities. And I can set up either just a single one, it's only going to allow a single response, or in this case I want a multiple response, or I can have a freeform text field in there. So that's the way you customize these prompts. So very slick, very fast, very, very useful. So that's I just showed you two ways in Open Dental uh, how you can chart a freeform note or the auto notes. And again, the auto notes are like a checklist, so they're very useful.